I going to introduce these guys without going through the normal, you know, they're award-winning artists, they're great and what, and the best thing I could think of is that there, there are some things in life that are just meant to go together. Think about it, like, you know, mac and cheese, you know, uh, bacon and eggs, and I guess in this case you can describe these guys as a bit, as a bit of a pop and vors situation, you know what I'm trying to say? They just go together like that. Two South Africa's uh, hit artists right now, Mr. Proverb and Daniel Barron. How are you guys doing, man? Who awesome. you call it pop, man? Hey, hey, you know, y'all can decide and then, you know, make that sauce sure. between y'all too, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. so how, how's, how's it been going with you guys? I mean, uh, last time that we had you uh, on the show, you were just about to take off to go to an overseas trip. Yeah. You were in London, dude. Yeah. And yeah, was, uh, I understand a few amazing things happened in London. Absolutely, yeah. I, I played a couple of gigs there and uh, just just all about sharing the music with, with as many people as possible, you know, and, yeah. and it was really incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's Huge talk about experience. the fact that you were fast-tracked uh, on into X Factor UK. Yeah, that was wow. that was a bit of a surprise, actually. Yeah, we were there and the next thing we got, I, got, I think I got scouted while I was uh, playing at a gig. Yeah. And uh, we got, uh, yeah, I got chosen to go through a couple of the rounds and then because I was South African, I think uh, I didn't go any, any further. I think it wow. didn't make it to the TV rounds. Wow. I think that was a bit of a thing. But the experience itself was pretty cool, yeah. Th that is insane, Thought, Yeah, right? once that in a lifetime crazy. kind of thing, but yeah. As I said, spreading the music with, with as many people as possible, you know. And then over above that, there, there was the opening for Bon Jovi. There was the oh, opening yeah. for, for Daniel Ooh. Beddingfield. That, that, yeah, the Bon Jovi <laughs> was... More achieve. <laughs> you know, what's going on with this kid? Yeah, we didn't calm down, you know what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, it was a, the Bon Jovi was a highlight. Just just heading out onto a stage uh, at Soccer City was just uh, it, yeah, blows you away. Yeah, you know, I heard it, it filled up like crazy, right? It, it did, it did. And 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 when you yeah, sixty thousand people can 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 literally uh, blow your hair back, you know. So I had to tighten it with some gel. <laughs> the know? effects yeah. are permanent, as you can see. Did you actually get to meet the guys, uh, the, the band? Uh, we didn't. We didn't, unfortunately. Oh. But uh, no, just being there, we 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 felt like we were we kind of met them in a way because yeah. just to be on that stage and be a, be a part of it was, was incredible. And, and let's yeah. talk a bit about the, the collaboration between the two of you and how you know how that came about because I, I wouldn't necessarily have placed the two of you together but now yeah. you're and Voss so <laughs> you know how, how did that happen? Bro? Do you know what I mean? Uh, well um, I used to play a lot of his uh, music on radio, uh, big fan mm -hmm. I, I really am mm -hmm. um, and uh, we kind of <laughs> built the rapport that way you yeah. know what I mean? Um, then so they through listening to his songs you were like <clears throat> you, you felt him. Because I always used to show him love and used yeah. to tweet back and Thanks. you know yeah. Yeah, chat yeah. Of, sort of on email etc and uh, yeah he had this idea to do a remix um, for one of his songs not here and uh, the rest as they say is history yeah and I thought no better person to approach than the, the the pro himself you know so yeah tell me about the, the studio time that's the most interesting when you when you actually get into studio yeah. and now you've got to put down this verse or this rhyme yeah. for the song had you prepared for it before the time when you were at home just like penning down a couple of things or did you get yeah. into studio just let the inspiration take over they yeah. actually initially wanted to send me the song ahead of time but I don't like to work that way I like to be in studio get the vibe get the concept get the story so they played it for me in the studio you also came with a background story, which was important. Yes. Uh, maybe he'll decide gotcha. whether he's going to share that with you or it's not. It's a classic heart, <laughs> heartbreak story. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. And then you Once he told me the story, I kind of zoned in, personalized it, and uh, the lyrics just came out. Unbelievable. Yeah. Man. We're going we're to hear that magic come together a bit later on when uh, we hear that single uh, performed by both these gentlemen. But right now, we're going to take a quick ad break. When we come back, Mr. Daniel Barrett will be performing live.